Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. I am. I've had a fun couple of days. It was just two days ago that I released a video about running Node Red on Android. And the people on Facebook, the people on YouTube, the people on Reddit were just so kind and so supportive. And I just, I've had a lot of fun talking to people about Node Red and all that kind of stuff. And somebody gave me Reddit gold and I just really, really kind of people people are subscribing to the channel and that just that's awesome like and so one of the things that happened was i thought about this i was like if i had made this app i would want to know that all these people are saying really kind things about it so i emailed the developer and just said hey you know the people over on reddit the people on facebook the people on this youtube video are saying really cool things about your work and i think you should be proud of it and so he was really cool he emailed me back and told me that uh he's just really appreciative and he had seen the the, the traffic and, and all that kind of stuff. And then like just kind of at the end of the email, he dropped a little bomb on me. He said, oh, by the way, did you know that we make Node Red for the Fire Stick? And I was like, oh, goodness, my day tomorrow is spent. And so um, on Prime Day, I bought two of these Fire Sticks for 15 bucks a piece. And so 530 in the morning, I come trekking back to my office and I hook up the Fire Stick. And let me tell you a little bit about my experience. The app is a little hard to find, and uh, here's a direct link to it, and I'll, I'll paste it in the description. But the best thing to do if you want to get to it for, uh, I guess you could either do it from the link in the video and deliver it to your Fire, or you can go on the Fire TV and just search for Node Space Red. And I brought this brought it up. So it's $2.69, cheaper than the other one, and it's cool. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how it works and how it's completely different and I think there's a completely different use case for this than the Android version. Okay so this little section is not really set up for videoing. This is where I develop a little bit of point of sale software and so I keep cash drawers and receipt printers and things like that over there and then my wife plays her uh, her retro pie when she wants to keep me company but this is a just a, a plasma TV. Um, by the way there's some servers. I don't know if you can see it. some servers up there. That's where all my server stuff is. Anyway, so I installed it, and when I click this, you're gonna get the basic login screen. Now you could create a username and password and stuff like that on here. And if you go back, I've already hit the start button, so you can see you get the IP address. There in my situation is 95.150.1880 forward slash red with that extra forward slash red, just like the Android app. Now, what's interesting is this little button up here allows you to do to get to it's a little hard to get to on the mouse but you can get to the node red dashboard and to me that's what i think is the power of this thing basically you get a full screen no address bar no having to minimize the address bar or hide the address bar you get this full screen display and i think this thing is really best suited as kind of a standalone node red dashboard kiosk and so we're going to go look at the interface and just see how it looks okay so jumping back over here to node red it's a pretty typical node red install with a few extra goodies on there and um i would say that there's two things you need to know one is you can't use the palette manager just like you can't use it on android and so you're not going to be able to just install whatever nodes you want to use so whatever nodes you have for your two dollars and 69 cents they're the nodes you have um so you should probably make sure that they're good enough for you obviously if you have a another node red installation you can have the two talk to each other so you, you have a lot of ways to pull in information beyond what's here but this is what's here on the fire stick and the second thing is just that the interface it's good like the interface i've used node red on basically everything down to a pi zero and orange pi zero uh all the way up to i haven't done a four but i've done a three b and so like I would say that it's on par with the 3 or the 3B in terms of speed. Like everything just, everything is really snappy and it's good. So let me give you an idea. You have the basic nodes up here. You have MQTT, which is pretty important. You have your basic ones that come with it. And then the only thing that looks like it's added is cast to be able to cast something. I haven't played with that. Um, you have the normal email and Twitter. You do have push bullet, which is really handy. If you've never used push bullet, super easy way to push notifications to your desktop or to your phone. Uh, Dropbox, haven't really used that. 
and your analysis ones that are, are always here. They did add Telegram, which is kind of cool. A lot of people use that for messaging. And then you have your basic Node-RED UI. So again, this is a basic Node-RED install, but it's running really, really well on a Fire Stick. So, you know, if I come here and click these, it's just about as responsive as anything else that you're going to run Node-RED on. So very, very cool. I Again, I think the use case for this is you build a cool UI dashboard and then you either get the input from MQTT or one of the other API type ATI, API type inputs to where you have this live dashboard. I mean, the idea of, of having this thing built on WebSocket so you don't have to refresh the page and you just get this really nice, smooth user interface, I think it's cool. I also think like when we're looking at it on the PC here, we're seeing the address bar and all that kind of stuff. On the TV, you just get a nice, clean interface. So, I mean, basically all you have to do is install the app, click the keep awake thing, which is a little tricky with the with the uh, the remote. In fact, it might be easier to do with a Bluetooth mouse or something like that. But you can you can add a username and password so that nobody can get to the interface and and all this stuff. And it's really cool. Like it, it's it's definitely a niche thing, but the fact that you can buy a Fire Stick for you know fifteen to to forty dollars and it's self-contained. If you go buy a Raspberry Pi, you need to buy a power supply, you need to buy an SD card, you need to worry about the SD card getting corrupted, um, you know, then you still need to install the stuff and all that. Where with this, it is it is pretty plug and play. I mean, really, you know, it took me five minutes from the time that I actually got through the setup of the, of the Fire Stick to the time that it was actually running. And so, um, yeah, the only difference is if you're trying to access the UI on a browser, you need to do forward slash API UI, which you can actually get to it right here. Uh, view dashboard will bring it up also. So um, anyway, that is Node Red on a Fire Stick. And again, so cool. Like, you know, I, I think the cool thing is just that it exists. It's so cool that somebody took the time to take this cheap commodity hardware and run this really powerful software on it. And if this if this palette is enough for you, then $2.69 is a bargain. So have a great day and thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for being so kind.